who you play, but he's solid. Get he's good. not crazy. Get yeah, good. Get good. The heck? Just he, get him off stage. Don't be don't well, yeah, be a that's wuss the and he, actually he, down air him look, off he, stage. He, he falls apart like wet toilet paper off stage, but you know You can this, punish up B off stage. You just gotta you just gotta have the balls. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Kalos Pokemon League, losers top six? Yep. Um, Who's this going home with a fifth place finish in quarters? Amazing to think that both of these guys are sitting here right now potentially going for fifth place. Both of them having one Zeno, uh, very yeah. strong contenders. To be fair, not as surprising for Jewel. Jewel has gotten like seventh and thirteenth before at Zeno. Yes. So it's not too big of a surprise. But Jen is someone that is kind of a. Except when he messes around with Fox, his Palo usually gets top three at least mm -hmm. at Zeno. So this, this might be come as a little bit of a shock. So we'll see what happens here. Well, oh, that was a... Yo! Did that just happen? That actually did just happen. Did that just... No. Jewel, Jewel already had the momentum with the sock, and then he footstooled it. He gimped Palutena with a footstool. How often do you see that? Never. Oh, I saw... I mean, not. you can't say never anymore. Well, yeah, not never. At least once. Never, ever, Yo, forever, my man. out of shield, Nair. Didn't get punished by the arc fire on shield. That's kind of whack. It's because you retreated. You retreated That's with the Nair out of shield. It was really smart of Jen to go for that. That was really smart, but I'm still kind of surprised. Well, granted, shield, he had full shield, so it was farther away from him than if he had a smaller shield. And he was probably leaning it, too, but still, that's crazy. There we go. Dash that to catch that roll onto the stage. Going to shield through that sword being thrown right at her face. Mm -hmm. Trying to duff him with it. Yo, he explosive actually gets by the explosive flame. Not going to do any kills, though. See, this is a little dangerous, but Robin can absolutely come back with this. No, he can't. Not anymore. I told you he could have, man. Very dead. You, you didn't believe me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> So what's he didn't interesting, give me time to respond. What's interesting about that explosive flame yes. is they threw it out there. Jewel was swinging a sort of what might have looked like randomly, but he was actually trying to get rid of the electric sword, the Levin, the Le the Levin sword. Oh my yes. God, I almost called the Leviathan sword. The, the Levin sword. He was trying to get rid of that, so he gets start uh, putting it on cooldown as well as a projectile throw it towards Jed. Mm -hmm. Jed saw it happening, so he's like, you know how eat this side beef. Yes. Not only that, um, there's a weird little tech. I don't know if it applies to the Levin Sword, but I know it applies to his books. Um, Take it back. If you uh, grab the ledge after you use something up, uh, it pops up behind you and actually covers the ledge get up. See, that was super weird right there. Oh, uh, keeping him off stage. Yo, reverse arc fire. That's kind of whack. He was, trying, he, was trying to call, he was trying to call it the roll onto the stage. Yes. Not everything is whack, Gretch. No. Whack. Whack, like a baseball bat. Check this there you out. go, there you go. Yeah. Like a wiffle bat. Yeah, like a <laughs> Speaking of wiffle bats, my god, that Nosferatu didn't result in his death. That's one hell of a thing to whiff. How? Oh. I was wondering how <laughs> you were going to lead that. That was actually pretty clever. Okay. Oh. What happened? Uh, he was out of wind? He might have been out of wind. Hard to Should have pulled some more wind, gotcha, man. I don't know. <laughs> I've got at least three SSR units in wind. Oh, he had one win. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we just got the replay. He had one win left. Yeah. Rest All in right. pepperoni. Chases. That actually was a little too low from Jen to try to chase with the uh, back around the platform, but it was the right idea. You know, it can be pretty daunting to be on the ledge against Arc Fire. Yes. But, you know, Jen just playing it cool, playing patient, didn't want to get overzealous. He also has the platform, which is a really big boon in this matchup. Yeah. Yo, that reflex still got him. Nice. He's got the items, spacing out, looking playing at the shield some, pressure. Playing some basketball. Absolutely. And he catches the aerial, sends him flying. 152% on Jen. All he's right. dead? He, no, he's not How dead. How did he live? So he th that that is the only thing that you can do there is roll. If Robin reads it or if you mistime it, it's still a kill. Yeah. He misconfirmed off the arc fire. He thought he had him in it and tried to go for the kill off of arc fire. And yep. unfortunately, that did get him a little bit extra percent. But we're on last stock. Uh, Get some upstate. Yo, the chase with the... Nope. Doesn't get him. Again with that? the second explosive flame, he still has all of his resources. Ooh, that was a dangerous one. No grab. He's Jen just gonna jump away, play it safe. We set back to neutral. No punishing on that uh, up B. Yep, that was actually a really smart uh, wave bounce with the arc fire to get him away. That could have been death. The fact that he traded there. All right. Getting off stage, a little scary. Takes his jump. Yo, good angle. Very Fantastic nice. Fantastic recovery from Jewel. Opting to angle it backwards to get back onto the stage. Safe and sound going above Jen. Got to be getting creative that's here. It. But yep. that time he wasn't able to juke him. Gets caught by the Nair. That staff from the Goddess is going to send you flying. Mm -hmm. That is such a consistent multi-hit. It's like... Check that. Look. Oh, okay. Yo, that footstool was actually legit, though. I love seeing that kind of stuff. And it looked like he had gotten him just at his jump, too. Which is, sometimes that just happens when you get gimped like that. Yeah. All right. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes that. it be like it do. So right here, this is the recovery that, oh wait, no, it's not. This is something else. Yes. 
He just yeah, died. that's so, what he fell to his death because he was out of wind. Yeah. So the arc fire was gone. So misconfirm on that one, which is unfortunate. But then you see, I actually didn't see. Yeah, he had uh, he applied the shield, shield pressure. pressure with the Levin sword because he, he threw it like a projectile. That was really smart. I think uh, unless he had oh, it was a book. It was a book. It was a book. My yeah, bad. unless he had spot dodge, I think that was death because that looked like it would have shield poke. Yo, he dash attacked under. That's kind of cool. That's like, I mean, he's technically low profile, so. Yeah. Yes. Okay, sw swapping up the genders a bit here. We're going over for male Corin this time around. Gonna see male Corin. Who's <laughs> Corin? I don't even know. Robin. Cor Corin. Wrong is protagonist. Yes. Wrong, so, fun, wrong creative character. Funny thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this known here. Uh, Jewel actually prefers male. Cor uh, I almost said it. Male. Robin. I told you it's hard. <laughs> you Every Fire Emblem character is the same. It doesn't matter oh. if their moveset's different. Who said that? It wasn't me. Here we go. Unova, except for Krom. Krom yep. is Bay. So this is uh, interesting for the counter pick. This is sort of the, I won't call it a gimmick, but the conditional counter pick in that if Jen is too close to the stage, he will always SD. Teleports in this game, they teleport a short distance and then a line is drawn. And because of the shape of the stage, it follows that little ledge right there and then sends them away from the ledge and they can't get back. So what just happened to Jen? Uh, that's a solid question. He's dead. Good. Yes. All right. Keeping him off stage. That being said, I don't know anything about the blast zones on this one, and it looks like the stage peaks out a little bit. But the platforms are actually close enough that I could see this not benefiting as much as Callus's for arc fire setups and getting out of this. All right, okay. that was a really unsafe thunder. Whiffed it and landed Whoa. right in front of the shield. Gonna roll Yo, right that up smash. No, uh, not death. What am I talking about? It's damage. Yeah, it's hella damage. My man is not dying at 53. I don't care how strong of a hit no. you have. See, I looked at Jules percent and I thought it was Jen's, and like, Yo, Jen's dead. Well, Jewel does have the lead currently. Trying to right. catch him with the explosive flame. Yeah. Uh, Jewel's just kind of big chilling. Yep, he is sort of, I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing it slow, especially when you have a bit of a lead and Palutena is. She can be a little overbearing if you try to go too aggressive on her. All right, arc fire traps. There we go. Nice. Jen Singh, but he calls out the warp. That's going to be a two stock lead for Jewel. Three stocks to one. Yo, you see how he was trying to catch that spot dodge there with the pivot grab, that was smart. All right, got the grab. the grab. Yo, look at how much damage, though, actually. I think that's a little misspaced. Uh, so when you toss out the arc fire, if my understanding of that is correct, you want to have it right on the edge so it, it does a couple hits on the ledge and then it falls. Yeah. So then if you stay on the ledge, it'll still grab you. All right. Okay, Jen finally putting a point on the ball. Oh, Yo! Boy, he challenged <laughs> I mean, honestly, good on Jen for recognizing the situation. Opts to go for an optimal combo, gets the down air into a confirmed grab, and starts the air train and the up airs. Right with that damage, bit that, by bit, calls out the, percent, the fall. Yeah, going for that smash right there may honestly cost him in the percent that he ate from it, because he ate like 40 off yeah. of that. And Palutena's dash attack calls out pretty much any uh, aerial approach from an opponent. Like, it, the guard point's too well. good. Yo, Quiet notice how he, yeah, he's got the Levin Sword right there to keep him away while he puts out the L. All right, point blank, whatever. Blank. That was super risky, because if he had gone under that, that could have been death. Easy. I don't think Jen expected Jewel to approach right there, which is why he threw it out. Mm -hmm. Counter. Uh, trying to reflect the yes. uh, projectile. Yes. All right. Good job throwing the thunder to get back on stage. Wait, Jewel just gets him in the second hit there. there Yo, we go. was all that a needs, confirm? All he needs is the one baby hit. Was that actually a confirm? That one. was kind of sick. Wait, Krom. I saw Krom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was he? I didn't see him. <laughs> But yeah, the, the babyest of Yo, hits. My man was in so hit stun. Cool. Jen was in hit stun, dog. That's actually legit. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Anything that confirms up a projectile is dumb. <laughs> Anything in this game that yep. that that kill confirms off of a projectile. Well, see here. Here's the thing. The reason he got that was because he'd used the projectile yeah. approaching. If he had missed that, he'd be heavily punished. Yeah, I, know, I don't I have know. a problem with heavily punishable projectile kill confirms. Safe. Cross stage projectile kill confirms? No, thank you. Stop no, I agree. Yes. I agree. Um, so taking it to oh, game man. three, Jewel was playing pretty solid on that one. Honestly, this can go either way. Um, but let's see. Opting once again for Male Robin. PS2. Yeah. One of Palu's best stages. So now, this is a very important. This is not Jewel's music pick because Jewel picks Route 209. Uh, and this is not it. I hate this song. This song? It's not that I hate this song, but it's overplayed as hell. Uh, which one is this? I don't remember. The one that goes way too hard. 
Uh, you'll, you'll hear it. You'll hear yeah. it. No, no, no. I know what song it is, but I'm trying to remember because this isn't Gladion. I know that's the one that everyone's like. Oh, I don't that's, know Pokemon that's music. The basic one. Last Pokemon I played was Silver. Yeah. Yo, I'm waiting for uh, Sword and Shield though. I'm gonna pick that up. Okay. There you go. Chases on that. Yo, spot dodge. That actually could have been. That was so weird. He had with that. He spot dodge, and then there was no punish on the spot dodge. And wanted to smack him. Oh, catches him falling down out of back air with his name on it. Yep. I thought for sure he was gonna go off stage with the Nair. But again, you know, Jen didn't want him to try to risk it. Because the thing is, when he goes for an offstage Nair, he puts himself at risk. Because if he whips, he's down below the stage. And all of a sudden, he lost yes. stage control. He's the one that has to recover. Especially against the likes of Robin, who has the, the you know, moves like Arcfire. Like, yes, Arcfire trapping is more or less Robin's win condition. Robin can win off of plenty of, thing out, uh, plenty of other things. He can do stray hits, etc. Levin Sword is very strong, but... Arcfire, this right here is a strong ass with But Jen abusing that platform on the right side, able to just bypass the arc fires completely by recovering high. Smart. No, he just did it. Double he jump off the, the trigger. ledge. And there he goes. Just smack him around. <laughs> and honestly, if you ask for my if you ask my opinion, I would say if Jewel wins this, that's an upset. Ah, uh, yes, I would agree. I would Even agree it's Jewel an upset, but I think one. it's a reasonable. It's reasonable. Upset. Oh, yes, by all means. But if you ask me who's going to win this, I would say Jen without even missing a beat. So the fact that this is getting so close can be insanely scary for Jen. Oh, that was such a ballsy arc fire. That actually would have been super high reward if he had landed it, but he's a punish off stage. Actually gets back onto stage without too much trouble. That's good. Just a hair too far away from that Yo, grab. He still gets him with the Levin Sword. So, uh, Levin Sword, as opposed to the previous Smash game, actually does more damage now. Previously, it was the books that did more damage and knocked back when he tossed it. Yeah. Let it be known that the weight of knowledge is more powerful than the weight of steel. The book is mightier than the sword. Yeah. Well, think about it. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you need a whole bunch of pens to write a book. Or a printer. Uh, well, yeah. Well, they didn't have printers in Fire Emblem, I don't think. I've never played, but... All right. Keeping possession of that book. Very so, nice. Again, playing out that b-ball a bit. Jules really good at just dribbling the, the item on the ground, trying to just make it active while it's inside of him. You see? The Jules, Jules an intelligent man. He can... He, ooh, that was pretty good. So that's the thing, right? Those jabs actually both kill, and they send it... Oh, my God. I want to talk about it's these stocks, right? Because they're, they're dropping. They're dropping. Because every single time someone loses a stock, the next yep. person loses it immediately afterwards. Yes. Final stocks for both players, Jen versus Jewel. Loser going home with a fifth place finish. Winner's going to move on into loser's semis. Good patience from Jen. He recognized that Jewel wanted to roll from oh, the ledge. Oh, why did he hold the jab? He Forward smash. It. Eats that punish this down tilt to so pop far. him off. What is all this momentum? Jen is going to get back on. He used the book to give himself some room to get back on yes, the stage. That's what I was talking about. When he grabs the ledge like that, the book pops up. So he grabbed that and he needed that because if he doesn't, he runs out of his L1. He called out the double jump, which is why Yo, Jen opted to go for the warp fire. immediately to get back onto that platform. Yo, nice. This is actually very doable for there both go. sides. Good confirm. Dash attack into the reverse aerial rush back air. Gets the another pivot grab. No, Jen is inside of his head. All the reads are coming out. Oh, Parries the, the jab? All right. Keeping it spaced. Very nice. Get he doesn't want to get too close. See, that's the thing. If Jen gets to the ledge, this could all fall apart very quickly. All right. Has the book. Spacing out with L Thunder. Jumps to avoid it, doesn't want to deal with the shield pressure. Dash tech has a quick burst option to send him airborne. Trying to avoid oh, the level. Yo, sword. he comboed both of them. That was so sick. But don't, don't you know tell what? Me. No! He's gonna get caught by the air dodge. You see him air dodging into the stage. Oh, Jen sees an opportunity. Way. He throws out the explosive flame. He gets the kill. He sends him bye-bye. He's gonna move on into losers semis. What a way to go. Yo. I was so ready for like that to be neck and neck, last stock, last hit, but that was. I mean, it was. It, it was. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. But what are you I disappointed think, by, Begretch? Did you want Jewel to win? I think. Do you the hate fact, Jen? I think, I think, are you no, a Jen hater? I think the Why fact do you hate that Jen? I don't hate Jen. Why are you I starting think, a petition to ban Jen from Zeno? Listen, nobody. I, I haven't gone public about the petition yet. How do you know about that? No, but real talk. I think it's the fact that it was an explosive flame and a spaced, like, I want this space explosive flame. Because that's what it does. Sometimes explosive flame just clips people and it gets you stocks and percentages and things like that. But ending a game off of that, especially when it was getting, in my opinion, to the most high octane part of it, is a little bit of a downer. But still very, very well played from Jen. Yo, Skunkle Gabe, game. thank you for that sub, man. You rock. Yo, I you specifically, no other subs. <laughs>